All right, that's better. So anyway, our we're taking a summer break. Our next meeting will be September 14th and Valerie will come and talk about that next meeting right now. <laughs> okay, I lost my window. So our next meeting will be a presentation on the art of landscape photography with Dr. Lin. And he is going to show you how to have um, or provide pro tips on seeing the unseen and crafting better images in landscape photography, how to use the lights to create visual emotion, how to use long exposure and create visual dynamics, and how to use field of vision to create visual perspective and how to use compositions to create visual continuity and story. And Dr. Lin, I don't want to mispronounce his first name, so I'm just going to stick with the, his, <laughs> his title. Dr. Lin was recommended by Terry Donofrio. So if you have any questions, maybe Terry can fill you in. And um, I'll drop a couple of his websites and links in the chat and so you can get a quick preview of what he has to offer. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. And now Lynn will read uh, our judges bio. Okay. Uh, our judge's name is Art Kwan and he's from North Andover, Massachusetts. And Art has been active in photography for over 40 years. He worked for Western Electric, AT&T, Lucent Technologies and Bell Labs for just over 31 years before retiring in October of 2001. Over a 25 year period, he performed extensive work in technical analytic photo photography for micro circuit, circuit development engineering departments at Bell Labs, especially in the area of microchip failure mode analysis. After joining the Merrimack Valley Camera Club in 1985, he served nine years as club president and 16 years as print competition chairman and has been awarded an honorary life membership in the club. He's also a member of the Massachusetts Camera Naturalists, the Photographic Historical so Society of New England and the Photographic Society of America. For the last 17 years, he's been a vice president of the New England Camera Club Council, where he's presently the NECCC print competition director and live commentator for the best of the NECCC traveling print program. At the 2016 NECCC annual conference held at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst, he was awarded an honorary membership in that organization. Art's photographic experience and interests include anamorphic, cinemascope photography, stereo, 3D imaging, color, and digital restoration of antique photographs, lithographs, engravings, and etchings. He served throughout New England as a digital image and print competition judge and lecturer. He presented his program, Pop-Up Flash Macro Photography, high quality macro for the poverty stricken photographer at the Photographic Society of American, America Convention in San Antonio in, Antonio in September of 2016. Art's favorite shooting locations are along the shores of the Bay of Fundy in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick and the upper Brazos River watershed area of North and West Texas. Both areas are widely different from one another and never fail to offer endless opportunities for macro and conventional photography. And Art shortened that for me. So I'd like to just welcome Art and he was with us last year. He judged the trees competition. And he also has some photos to show us, oh, which are on here. These are his, um, his photos. So welcome, Art. 
Hi, uh, glad to be here. Uh, what you see on your screen right now is Elvira. I know it's a stupid name, but that's a black widow spider I brought back from Texas years ago. And uh, it hatched out, uh, she hatched out a bunch of babies and uh, uh, I got some fantastic photo opportunities uh, using uh, her. There should be another one pop up sooner or later. Oh, there we go. That's a uh, detail of a uh, Western black widow uh, taken in a uh, cattle pasture over in Prophet, Texas. It was on a cattle gate and uh, I was able to get a uh, pretty close shot. Nothing dangerous here. The black widows you don't see are the ones that are dangerous. She was very vis visible sitting where she was. Okay, and next one, there we go. That's a uh, green link spider on the back on a uh, lantana plant in the back of my uh, uh, place down here, taken years ago. Uh, first time I ever encountered a green link spider, I thought the color was quite bizarre, but it's absolutely common for this particular species. Uh, in your travels shooting spiders, you will find some that are missing legs. Usually one is quite common, sometimes two, sometimes three. Here's a green link spider that lost five legs, has only three left, but was still able to capture this huge, whatever it is, I don't know if it's a wasp or not, but she had no trouble handling that. That was a night shooting, uh, a night shooting occasion. Next. Uh, this is a uh, close up uh, in your face shot of a green link spider. Folks ask me if I ever do portraits and I try, I trot out images of spider portraits. Uh, I do shoot people portraits, but uh, spiders I find particularly interesting. Next up. Okay, this is a close up of a uh, wolf spider on a dirt road in true Texas. Uh, looks like I am dangerously close, but it had been stung by a tarantula hawk wasp and was absolutely thoroughly paralyzed. So I was able to work my will as far as uh, getting any kind of a uh, shot. The only thing I got out of this was uh, very sore knees kneeling on gravel. Next up, this is a uh, close up of a Phytopus audax uh, jumping spider uh, that was very cooperative before it bounded away uh, uh, into the weeds. Uh, none of these were taken with a macro lens. They were all taken with a conventional lens with some lenses put on the uh, front of the lens to achieve the magnification I got. All were taken, if they looked like they were taken with a flash, they were taken with the pop-up flash on the camera. And that's it. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay. All right, we'll get the competition started. We're gonna start with group one. We have uh, two images in this group. Uh, are you going to do a run through of the images first? I typically don't, but if you'd like it, we can. Well, that's it's not a uh, it's a uh, requirement. We can do with whatever you find uh, running uh, the thing in the conventional manner. How many images in the first group? There's two images. We're going to do a quick run through. Okay. All right, here we go. There's two images. This is group one. Okay. All right, I would uh, give this one a, uh, a seven. Okay, the lighting is, uh, you want a commentary as we go along? Are you there? Yes, you can, you can provide commentary. Okay, good. Uh, interesting composition. I like the diagonal. Okay, the uh, water drops look like crystal. I detect a little bit of softness uh, in the closest elements. The uh, softness extending into the background is not a factor, but I think what uh, makes this as good as, it, good as it is is the diagonal composition. Straight up and down vertical would not be the way to go with this. OK, 
Okay, we can move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, this one I uh, can go eight points on this. It's a nice tight shot of the separate of the uh, center of this leafy arrangement. Uh, the position of the lighting enhances the uh, topography of the uh, leaves itself themselves. Uh, we can see uh, the contours, the elevations, the shape. It adds a three-dimensional quality to it. Uh, I like the tight composition. Uh, you get a lot of greenery in the background, but I think the central elements are strong enough to warrant an eight. <clears throat> Excellent. Now we'll review this contest. Well, we got to score it, and we have one one HM. That's going to be the eight. Okay, uh, what are we waiting for? Are you waiting on me? Now we're having technical difficulties. We're going to score this in HM. I didn't kind of quite hear that. We're going to review the group one contest now. Oh, okay, sure. Holy Basil, Margaret Maurice, honorable mention. Congratulations, Margaret. Congratulations. All right, we're gonna move on to group two. We have uh, 10 images in this group, so we need a first, second, third, and two HMs. Art, it looks like we're still having a little technical difficulty, so we'll move on in a minute. Yep. Hang in there. You too, Matt. All right, we're going to run through real quick. Here we go. Group okay. two.
All right, here we go. 10 images, first, second, third, two HMs. Okay, uh, we'll score first, and then what do we do? Go through to assign the awards, or uh, uh, what uh, by score, or uh, how do you run that? Yes, score them first, and then we'll run through the awards after we get the scores. Okay, all right. This is the, we're starting with the first image here, right? Puff the Magic Dragon. Okay, uh, eight points. Uh, I like, I could uh, do, do it a little more contrast, but I like this because it, the title uh, affects it really well. It looks almost like a Scooby-Doo rearing back, uh, ready to, uh, uh, shout at somebody, but I do see the uh, the the uh, effect uh, uh, called out by the title. Catalegret hides in the underbrush. Okay, uh, eight points. Uh, nice shot of this particular bird. I like the color. I like the blown out background. The uh, background is busy, but not so busy that it attracts from the main subject. You have a couple of shadows on the uh, the bird itself and a hot spot underneath the eye, but it's still uh, pretty good. There is a distracting out of focus element uh, extending along the bottom of the frame out to the uh, uh, slightly above the lower right hand corner. I don't know if you could have raised the camera position, which would have brought out the, the visibility in the uh, feet of the bird and eliminated that, but uh, you got what you were able to at the time. Overlook. Okay. Uh, eight points. This is a nice uh, scene. You, it's, uh, it's fortunate that you did not have a ball sky. You have sky, uh, clouds in it. Uh, makes for interesting composition. I like the uh, clear area in the center, uh, which uh, is uh, it provides nice contrast between the closer foliage and the distant foliage in the uh, the distant landscape. I like the uh, closer trees, uh, the darker tree in the upper right. That gives us uh, a, a good sense of depth in the uh, scene. Marble Godwit. Godwit. Okay, uh, nine points. This is a particularly nice shot. I like the uh, uh, the exact moment the image was captured. You are a fraction of an inch above the water surface with the uh, the bird's uh, leg there, foot. Uh, I like the uh, completely unobtrusive background, a little bit of uh, sand uh, visible in the bottom, uh, adds depth to the image because it's uh, closer to the camera and is uh, in soft focus. I like the uh, ripples in the uh, water caused by the passage of the bird. Great exposure, great detail. Ibis Landing. Uh, nine points. This is particularly nice because uh, of the uh, the type of lighting. It's a uh, soft lighting. I don't know what time of day this was taken, but there is no harsh lighting there. And yet the uh, lighting is directional enough to give us a, a great deal of uh, three-dimensional effect in the uh, where the legs join the uh, body and the underside of its left wing. Uh, some folks might say, well, uh, the dark background is a put off. I think that in this particular case, it enhances the presence of a bird. It looks almost like a sculpture in its, uh, how it's uh, rendered as far as the three-dimensional quality. Great color, great exposure. Baby rainbow turtle. Okay. Uh, eight points. Uh, this is really nice. I like particularly its uh, placement in the frame with the main weight of the subject being slightly down and to the left of center. Uh, I don't know what the uh, green bit is around its uh, head. Possibly it's something it's feeding on or something, maybe some kind of algae. Uh, we don't have well, I think that this water is fine just the way it is. Uh, I like the, uh, the way the shell uh, color intensity uh, increases as the uh, shell approach, the raised portion of the shell is just underneath the surface or possibly just above, uh, like the angle of the uh, creature in this particular shot. Nice. Wood stork landing to claim the territory. Okay, uh, eight points. So you got points for the story. Uh, you do have some hot spots on the bird, I, on both birds. I do not know whether you have 
data present in the image that was sufficient to uh, alter or modify using highlight shadow. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But what I do like about this is uh, the contrast between the sitting bird, which has everything all folded up, and the uh, sweeping, swooping wings of the uh, bird landing behind. The busy background does not bother me at all. The protector. Uh, I like this particular formation. Nine points on this. First of all, I like the uh, the direction of the lighting. It looks like harsh uh, middle of the day sun, but uh, in this particular case, uh, it renders uh, a nice three dimensional quality through the image. I see a a face in the center of the image. It's uh, an uh, interesting uh, aspect. I like the a little wisp of vegetation in the upper left and uh, uh, in the uh, uh, center and lower right. And you do have uh, just a little sprig of yellow flowers down there. I also like the uh, slightly longer presentation in this. I think it works well and you had a good sky for this shot. Dunlin. Okay, uh, nine points for this shot. Uh, there are, uh, first of all, this is another shot where you have great action. You have a uh, disturbance on the water surface where the uh, bird's uh, trailing foot is. I like the distance between the foot and its reflection, uh, its other foot. Great detail, uh, great exposure. There are some folks who uh, might like to see the entire bird's reflection. It would be nice if it was there, but uh, you did well getting what you did. And I think the main subject is the bird itself. I like the, uh, some people might say, well, well, maybe it ought to be running the other way. That's easy to fix or split the image, but I think this looks fine the way it is. Peekaboo. Okay, uh, nine points. Uh, this is great. I like the exposure. I like the action. I like the fact that uh, we do not see the entire eagle in back. We see its head peeking out from the uh, from behind the uh, closer eagle. The detail is fantastic in this. I like the framing of the tree on the left and the branch overhead and the nest below. Uh, the detail is really nice. I like the fact that you can see detail in that single pine cone uh, uh, right uh, halfway across the bottom of the image. A great shot. And a, in this case here, uh, clouds probably would have been an attraction. Find the way it is. All right, we got five nines. We need first, second, third out of it. Okay, so uh, we uh, you're going to show me all of the uh, high scorers first to pick the uh, awards. Yeah, okay. we'll show you thumbnails at the bottom. Okay, sure. That'll work. <clears throat> And also, Art, the uh, eagle at the end there, there's actually a string so that's hand to man in that, so we can't get an award for it. Hang on a minute. Uh, I see thumbnails along the bottom of the screen. Oh, here we go. Okay. So go ahead. You're going to run through these or? This okay. one here, this one here has a string in it. So that's, that's hand to man. It really can't get an award. Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh, but hang on, isn't that legitimate nesting material? Or if, if this is strictly a no slack competition, then you're right, it probably should not be there. Yeah, it, it's part of hand to man, so unfortunately. Well, it is, okay. And I think that would have been probably easy to see, although I didn't even notice it. Uh, or if I did, I didn't call it out. Okay, well, we'll accede to your wishes, so proceed. <clears throat> All 
All right, we have uh, four images to pick first, second, third from. Okay. I would say that second. First will be the bird uh, landing uh, with the dark background. Okay. This one is first? Uh, that one would be first, yep. Okay, and then the bird all the way at the end, this one is second. Uh, yes, okay, yeah. Oh, right, so we need a third. Hold on one second. Okay. So let's see what we've got. I think the stones is the second one. I would go with this for third. Nothing wrong with the bird, mind you, but uh, this is kind of interesting. And if it didn't look so much like a uh, grumpy politician's face, I would uh, probably go with the bird. But uh, this is really kind of cool. So the bird's an HM, and then we'll go through the eights, and you'll have to find me another one HM. So we have five eights. I need one of them. Mm -hmm. So what are you looking for, for here for awards? One HM. One HM. Okay, let's see him again. I'm going to go with the, uh, oh boy, it's a toss up here. Uh, I'm going to go with the, uh, the turtle. Yeah, close. It was a toss up between the landscape and the turtle, but just to let the maker of the landscape know they were very close. Excellent. Now we'll go and review this contest. Sure. Marble got with, with Mary Little, honorable mention. Congratulations, Mary. <laughs> Baby Rainbow Turtle, Patricia Curzel, honorable mention. Congratulations, Pat. The Protector, Lou DeVico, third place. Uh, congratulations, Lou. Congratulations, Lou. Dunlin, Mary Little, second place. Congratulations, Mary. All right, we're going to move on to the third group. There's 32 images, so we need a first, second, third, seven HMs. <clears throat> and we'll do a quick flip through.
All right, here we go. This is the third group. Okay. Artichoke shape growth on tree. Okay. Um, seven points on this. The exposure is fine. The level of detail is fine. I like the fact that you have that uh, bulging protuberance seeming to be breaking through the outer layer that we're seeing. Uh, I also like the swirly effect. It looks like the uh, fragments of Bach are sort of might be rotating in sort of a counterclockwise fashion around the bulge that we see underneath. Great detail and uh, uh, exposure here. I like the square presentation. My lucky day. Okay, uh, eight points. Uh, this is uh, really nice. I like the fact that the uh, bird has the creature by its claws and not by its body. This renders the entire body of this uh, unlucky uh, future meal to be visible. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, uh, feathery business uh, that has blown up or whatever in front of the head of the bird, but that's not really a showstopper. Uh, nice exposure, uh, great detail. Water lilies. Uh, eight points. Uh, this is a nice shot of this uh, trio of uh, water lilies. I like the fact that they are not evenly spaced. You have two together, one apart and then one bud peeking up in the upper left. That's kind of a nice uh, combination. Uh, great lighting on this. It's overhead lighting, but uh, it has not uh, uh, killed the image. And I think it enhances contrast. Bumblebee on Baptisia. Okay, uh, eight points. I like the uh, composition. Uh, the, the, the position of the bee suggests that it has weight and they, they do sometimes when they land on a flower, they, you can see the flower sag a little bit and that's not responsible for the flower leaning or into a diagonal presentation we see here. Uh, the only thing I would uh, tone down, I don't know if this is just hand of man, okay, no hand of man, you could uh, tone down the intensity of that brighter element to the left. Uh, top and bottom white bands are a little bit uh, obtrusive. I would go with a very thin uh, two pixel wide or so band around the outside edges. The top and bottom white bands are probably unnecessary. Desert fruit. Okay, uh, eight points. This is uh, really nice. I like the, uh, the the soft background right at the bottom of the frame. Uh, uh, clarifies to a, a nice sharp zone where the uh, yellow elements are supporting the uh, the uh, drab elements. The out of focus background uh, does not compete with the uh, central area of the image at all. Uh, nice presentation. Cruising through. Uh, nine points. Uh, I like this. This uh, almost reminds me of a low flying uh, bomber. Uh, I like the lighting in this, especially on uh, its uh, far wing. And I like the way the lighting is producing detail uh, across the top of the closer wing. Uh, the great stretched out legs, nice presentation. Please turn around. Uh, nine points, a uh, nice shot of this particular uh, nymph. Uh, the only thing I would suggest is check your uh, image and see if you have the uh, tip of that uh, leg that is extending to the bottom of the frame. It might actually be there. Uh, I'm not seeing it, but that doesn't mean that it's not there. I do not see the white border along the bottom of the uh, image. If it's there, then the leg is probably there. Great detail, blown out soft, smushy background. Absolutely razor sharp where it needs to be. Common turn with fish. Okay, uh, eight points, great action in this. Okay, uh, fantastic detail. Uh, the intensity, I love the outstretched wing, especially the, uh, the distant wing where you can see the tips of the feathers splayed out. The nature of the reflection is such that if the image was flipped vertically, the reflection would be the correct exposure uh, density 
for a reflection. Right now, the primary image, which is the top and the reflection is the bottom, the top image has the degree of exposure you would expect to see in the reflection of the bottom portion of the image. Uh, reflections are a light lossy uh, situation and generally every reflection has a slightly darker tone than that which is re the, being reflected. Just an observation. The river. Okay, uh, seven points, uh, nice landscape here. It's interesting to see a monochrome. I like the uh, uh, composition. Uh, I like especially the uh, what's happening in the bottom of the image with the uh, water and uh, the way it funnels into its channel. Um, I like the color of the monochrome. Uh, the composition is uh, well done with the higher elements on the left, lower on the right, and the lowest in the center. It has a nice three-dimensional quality. Mr. Rock takes a shower. Okay, uh, eight points. Uh, I like this, uh, first of all, I like the arrangement of the uh, smaller cascades. I like the sheet of water that's uh, washing over the rock in the top center of the image along the very top edge. Uh, in this particular case, I like the, uh, the sun dappled uh, uh, arrangement that we have here. And the fact that the uh, uh, heaviest weight element, which is the, the most water visible is in the lower right. And it does not merge with the edge of the frame because you have some separation there created by some rock. <clears throat> Red wing on a reed. Uh, nine points. This is uh, particularly nice. I like the, the fact now, even though the uh, reeds on the right, right forming the X are some kind of a distraction, okay, uh, it almost looks like uh, with the one on the left and the one on the right, like some kind of a Roman numeral. But uh, uh, I like the fact that you've caught the or, or mid squawk or something. Uh, the uh, out of focus brown element in the left background is uh, no concern at all. I like the fact that you have bright sky or bright water behind and a, the darker element along the uh, bottom. Uh, great uh, the shot, uh, taken at a great time. Mating dance. Okay, uh, nine points. Uh, this is a really a nice uh, capture of this particular moment. Uh, what's interesting is you have the two birds dancing the way they are, but also you have the layered effect of the, uh, the uh, grass elements. You have three horizontal bands of uh, grass with detail with uh, uh, softer bands between and a uh, background with uh, water and a dim, what looks like a tree line behind. Nice combination. A uh, little bit hot on the bird on the left and the brighter elements, but uh, that's not really a killer. I think the action here speaks for itself. Uh, great moment and uh, it's a, a great uh, capture. Time for dinner. Okay, uh, nine points. This is uh, really kind of an unusual uh, presentation of an interesting subject. Uh, uh, normally, you would expect this creature to be running away from a lion, but uh, the zebra seems a bit unusual. I know they're not carnivorous, but he certainly has a carnivorous aspect in this particular image. Uh, great shot, great action shot, uh, nice lighting, nothing blown out. Uh, uh, I wish it was mine, but clearly it's not. Greenland ice. Okay, uh, nine points. This is a really uh, nice shot of this uh, iceberg. I like the fact that the water in the foreground is not merely a sheet of water. You have a nice iceberg reflection and then these smaller chunks of floating ice. Take away those chunks of floating ice and you still have a nice picture, but it lacks a three-dimensional quality. Here they lead you right into the uh, massive presence of the uh, bird. The chase. Okay, uh, nine points here. 
Uh, here you see uh, one bird who is apparently jealous of the fact that the other bird's flying away with a fish and is uh, attempting to rob it. Or maybe they're happy mates and they're just going to go share a meal. I have no clue. But uh, clearly, I like the position of the wings on the one carrying the fish, and in particular, the position of the wings and tail of the one uh, engaged in the chase. And you didn't have a ball sky. You have uh, nice clouds, and uh, it's a very effective presentation. Excuse me while I scratch an itch. OK, uh, nine points. Uh, here you see uh, whatever this creature is. I can't quite identify it, but uh, it's uh, well photographed. The lighting is absolutely superb. Great detail. Uh, I like especially the, uh, the uh, detail in the hind raised leg uh, and the fact that the creature uh, is completely unconcerned with the presence of the photographer if it has notice of photographer at all. I also like the fact that you appear to have taken this from a low angle because we're seeing the underside of the creature, not the top of its back, and we see out of focus uh, shooting from your belly grass uh, along the bottom. Coral C. Okay. Um, seven points. It's a nice presentation, nice color in this, nice sharp detail. Uh, in this particular case, uh, uh, you, you're giving us quite a bit to look at. The heaviest weight of the uh, subject is in the center where it should be. Uh, I like the color in this, um, a nice scattering of uh, uh, growth uh, uh, as a uh, uh, fungi image. I think it uh, flies uh, very well. I like the combination of what looks like fungi and lichen in the uh, uh, greener areas. Skimming the water. Okay, uh, nine points. This is uh, clearly a, uh, a very, uh, 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 <laughs> this is a high quality nature image. Uh, I like especially the way the lower bill is slicing the water and the uh, disturbance in the water created by this uh, slicing is extremely narrow. And uh, the lighting is such that you have nice detail in the feathers, nice detail in the bird's reflection. I like the, its position within the frame. And you've given us quite a bit of the weight created by the uh, bird skim, uh, skimming along the water. And I think that even though it's very slightly to the right of center, I think that it implies motion in being placed exactly where it is. Burial ground of the junipers. Okay, uh, eight points, uh, beautiful sky here. I like the fact that you have the amount of uh, dry desiccated uh, timber uh, fallen uh, junipers along the bottom there. Uh, and then you have uh, living specimens and then uh, one that is trying its best to, or two that are trying uh, their best to remain uh, erect and uh, pretty soon they're gonna be on the ground too. I like the placement of the more prominent one in the open area to the left of the central tree. That's very nice. And then you have the nice border created by the uh, uh, green growth along the right edge of the frame. Nicely done. Fleabane. OK, uh, seven points. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, first of all, I, I think it probably could be a bit sharper. You do have two sharp fleabanes in the uh, lower right. Uh, one below them, the curls, the curl petals is, uh, is less sharp. Uh, I like the uh, fact that you have greatly out of focus uh, ones in the background that produce almost circular uh, hot spots. Uh, but I think if there was just a little more depth of field here, you would uh, be a little better off. But this may have been your intent. And uh, uh, I have to applaud the image that you got doing this. <clears throat> into the light. Okay, uh, eight points. Uh, interesting shot of this uh, slot canyon. I like the fact that you have uh, the uh, arch uh, extending from upper left uh, down to an area to, to its lower right. Lighting in this is really nice. I like the fact that the lighting uh, coming from the right area uh, uh, striking the 
face of the rock on the right that extends from upper right to lower right reveals a great deal of detail, texture, and the striations in the uh, sedimentary uh, rock that this uh, area is uh, made from. Breakfast. Okay, uh, nine points. I'm always jealous of birds that can catch fish bigger than I can, uh, really uh, at much less expense. Uh, this is really nice. I like the intensity of the bird stare. It almost looks like it's looking at possibly another bird that may be trying to fly in to steal its catch. The uh, fish does look a little worse for wear. You do clip the tail a little bit in the lower right, but that's not really a showstopper. Nice texture throughout its perch and the bird itself. Ready to fly. Okay. Uh, eight points. I like the arrangement in this. You have the one seed that's ready to uh, drop off and fly off somewhere, but I also like the uh, other ones sitting there like peas in a pod, uh, waiting their turn to uh, take off. Uh, nicely done. Great vertical chapter. Rosiette, Spoonbill, and Water Droplet. Okay, uh, nine points on this. This is a, a nice shot. I see that one droplet. Uh, uh, falling down uh, about halfway uh, in its travel to the water. Uh, a great autofocus background, nice lighting uh, from a direction that produces nice texture in the feathers. Uh, interesting beak detail, and of course the eye is uh, very prominent. I like the detail visible underneath its tail. And uh, it's, uh, the, yeah, despite the fact that the horizon line formed by the blue versus pink coloration in the back extends across the center of the frame, I don't find that to be a problem at all. Winter Falls. Okay, uh, eight points. This is particularly nice. I like the fact that you can see through the fall uh, each uh, area of cascade to what looks like uh, ice uh, beyond the, uh, curl, the veil of the cascade itself, plus the prominent uh, uh, white in the uh, uh, bottom uh, uh, left, uh, the, just the center of the bottom left. I like uh, in particular the uh, rock in the lower right, which almost looks like a little shelf where you see the water cascading over. Nice vertical composition, uh, nice exposure, good exposure. Peaceful sunrise. Okay. Uh, Nine points also, you're gonna have a lot of ties that we have to break, but these are decent images. Uh, I like in particular the, uh, the varied cloud layering we see here. We see the low uh, clouds uh, between the trees and the uh, mountains, mountains peaking into the gap and then higher uh, clouds uh, over the mountains with the uh, side lighting producing uh, detail. Great composition that we've seen uh, quite often in competition, but uh, this is uh, really, really nice. Great wine in flight. Okay. Uh, eight points. I like the, the moment of capture here, okay? You've, we've got the feet dangling uh, in the reeds that we see there on your lower left. Uh, the breast and neck of the bird are just above that uh, slightly diagonal uh, shoreline formed by the reeds. Uh, nice detail in the feathers uh, at the uh, top of the wing. A little hot along portions of the neck, leading edge of the wing and uh, on the body just a little bit, but uh, all in all a great composition with the bird placed just to the left of uh, center. Assassin bug acts. Uh, this is okay. This is uh, this is a little tough. I'm not sure exactly what to do with this. Uh, the processing shows the hand of man, but the subject itself does not. So this is kind of in a a gray shadow area. Okay. So I have to give it a seven. I can't do it, uh, give it any higher than that. But on the other hand, I can't give it a six, okay? 
So uh, 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 in particular, if you wanted my opinion on the composition, I would see what would happen if you, uh, uh, I'm not sure what it would look like rotated with the bird facing, with the uh, bug facing up, but it's facing down and that's probably the way it was taken. With the effect uh, produced by uh, what is uh, probably something in your image handling program, uh, I think that this uh, shows processing by the hand of man, so, but I will give it a seven. Moving herd. Okay. Um, I'm going to give this an eight. I like the presentation. I like the fact that you have uh, so many creatures arranged as they are. If it was a mob and you were taken down and the mob or you photographed down and the mob filled the entire screen, uh, it would not score. Uh, I would probably score it a little less. The uh, I like the extended uh, 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 grouping here and the uh, wide uh, panel format. That is clearly the way to present this. Uh, good lighting for this. Uh, great detail. Uh, interesting shot. Alone. Okay. Um, I am going to give this seven points because I think that under the circumstances, uh, the eye could be sharper. I'm seeing what looks like a little bit of blurriness in the eye. It could be camera motion. I'm not privy to what the shutter speed was when this was captured. Uh, I don't think it's subject motion. You could have a combination of focus and uh, uh, camera motion. It looks like there's a little softness in the eye. The exposure is great. Not bothered at all by the shadow being cast on the body of the bird. Composition is wonderful. I like the direction it's looking in. I like the heavyweight presence being just above and to the right of the center of the frame. But there just seems to be something going on with the sharpness in the eye area. Got one. Okay, uh, eight points. Uh, nice shot of this eagle. Again, it's catch, caught a fish bigger than what I usually come away with. Uh, I like the fact that the beak, is, the beak is open slightly. The position of the wings, you know, it's going to be, uh, it's uh, beginning, it's a uh, stroke to uh, go on to its next wing beat. Uh, the uh, fish is positioned nicely, trailing behind like they usually do. Uh, busy background, uh, might have scored higher with a, uh, uh, a less busy background, but that being said, the background is rendered soft and that increases the apparent sharpness of the detail in the bird. Hummingbird clear wing on wild bergamot. Okay, uh, eight points. Uh, in this case here, the uh, main subject is in the, in, the, in the extreme lower right portion of the frame. But I think that makes for an interesting composition here. You have the uh, out of focus uh, portion of the plant, uh, uh, the companion to the one that the uh, moth is sitting on in the uh, top center. Uh, I think it's a pleasing composition. You could crop in the left edge just a little bit uh, but it's, a, it's fine the way it is. That's a, a minor picky point. Detail in the uh, uh, hawk moth itself is uh, very great and uh, really sweet exposure on this and a nice soft smushy background. Uh, we have uh, 12 nines, need a first, second, third. Okay, so you need a first, second, and third. Okay, sorry to throw all those uh, nines at you, but it is what it is. Okay. We'll go through them and we can go back to anyone you want to see again. Yeah. Okay, uh, my pick for first. Are you ready for this? 
is going to be the uh, zebra seeming to be chasing whatever that creature is. That's, that is such an unusual image. It is even though the whatever that creature is that's running away has a little bit of softness to it. Uh, this is so unusual. I've seen nothing like it. Uh, and I like the position of the legs of the uh, antelope, whatever it is. Uh, this clearly is uh, in a class by itself amongst the others. That's my pick for first. First place, right? Okay. Okay, my choice, my choice for second, okay, is going to be that green bug. Now I can see it, it, the image in its entirety. Okay, uh, I'm going to go this with that. Here. Whatever that is, yes, that's a second. Now we need a third. Okay, and. Um, <laughs> Uh, my choice for third is going to be the iceberg, the iceberg with the, uh, not that there's anything shabby about the others, but you're forcing me to make a pick, and that's my pick. That iceberg is really something. The maker should print that huge. All right, now I need you to drop two. And what do you need now? Pick out two. We need seven pick HMs. Out pick out two for HM. HM. Oh, okay. so we need to remove two. Oh, you got to remove two. Okay. All right. As nice as it is, I think we have to let the uh, red winged blackbird with the X in front of it uh, go. Uh, it's uh, close, but. Uh, mm. And then uh, let me see what else we've got in the field here. Um, I would say the next one out, and I hate to do it, is going to be the uh, this one here, eagle looking to the left with the fish. It's a nice shot. So I think those are the two. Everything else is an HM. Correct. Everything else is HM. Okay. I don't want anybody running out and standing on uh, railroad tracks uh, or jumping off a bridge or anything because of what, what happened tonight. They're all good images. Okay. Everybody, you guys uh, uh, don't make it easy for a judge, which is as it should be. All right, we're going to review this contest. Mm -hmm. Cruising through Matthew Rank, honorable mention. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you, Lynn. Mating dance, Mike Hadley, honorable mention. Congratulations, Michael. The Chase, Rose Scudari, honorable mention. Congratulations, Rose. Excuse me while I scratch an itch. Vicki DeVico, honorable mention. Congratulations, Vicki. Skimming the Water, Melinda Matlack, honorable mention. Congratulations, Melinda. Rosie at Spoonbill and Water Droplet. Susan Little, honorable mention. Congratulations, Susan. Peaceful Sunrise, Deborah Cohen, honorable mention. Congratulations, Deborah. Greenland Ice, Frederick Appellian, third place. Congratulations, Fred. 
Please turn around. Stan Pepka, second place. Congratulations, Stan. All right, we're going to take a uh, five minute break here. Okay. Good thing we have you, Valerie. Great blue. Oh, sorry. All right, this is the salon group, 20 images, first, second, third, four HMs. Four HMs, okay. Great blue downing crayfish. Okay. Um, oh boy. Eight points on that. Okay, great composition, great action shot. Uh, I like the fact that the uh, the bird is not yet gripping the crayfish. It's in uh, uh, mid uh, toss uh, there. Uh, great position of the uh, bird. Great detail. Uh, nice, uh, great lighting uh, to enhance detail on feathers. The uh, great sharp eye. Uh, nice shot overall. I like the sprinkling of reeds and the wiggly shadow on the bottom. A wiggly reflection in the, along the bottom. Garnet Hill Gemstone. Okay. Um, eight points. I like the uh, translucent, uh, translucence or transparency of the gemstones themselves. I like the uh, diagonal composition, composition created by the, uh, the central elements uh, extending from uh, upper left to lower right. A uh, few uh, flash uh, hot spots, reflections. Uh, uh, don't know what you can do about them. Uh, probably uh, not much. Uh, interesting variation in the color of the uh, stone, the transparent uh, stones of themselves. Uh, interesting shot. Great detail. Kirk Jufel. I know I didn't say that right. Okay, uh, nine points. This is a particularly nice uh, landscape. I like the uh, layering effect as you go from the uh, base to the uh, top of the uh, peak on the left. Uh, the little bit of uh, rock showing in the uh, right, that darker element in the lower right, uh, I don't consider a distraction. Although it does attract your eye, I think it's an interesting addition, an interesting element that does not detract from the overall image. I like the position of the bright clouds uh, right where they are in the scene. And I like the texture in the uh, layer of vegetation atop the uh, uh, raised up portion of the uh, uh, beach in the uh, lower right. Yosemite. Okay, uh, nine points. This is a, a great shot uh, of Yosemite. I like the color of the sky, the uh, fading blue as you uh, get back into the, uh, uh, from the for foremost part of the image to the uh, uh, distance gives a great sense of depth. Presence of the uh, tree on the left is nice. That's a great framing element. I like the lowest portion of the horizon right dead in the center. Uh, the uh, 
horizon line extending from the upper right down to the low point in the center and up to the uh, lower left part of the frame is nice. Nice detail in the foreground, uh, nice presentation, great exposure. Iceland waterfall. Okay, uh, nine points also. It's tough to differentiate different score levels with these because they're also great. Uh, the uh, central element of the falls is uh, placed right where I would put it. Uh, you've uh, uh, a great deal of detail in this. I like the uh, nearly overcast brooding sky and that you have bright light coming in from the left. Uh, of the uh, the green slopes. Uh, you could uh, raise the portion of the bottom, bottom portion of the frame just a little bit, but you may have wanted to include those uh, closer elements in the uh, center, bottom, and the uh, lower right portion of the frame. Uh, great image. Three. Okay, uh, eight points here. Uh, I like the uh, framing of the three. I like the fact that you have upraised wings in the leading and trailing bird and downswept wings in the center. Okay, that's a very orderly uh, arrangement. Uh, I think the pink in the sky is a little intense. Uh, that may be the way it was, but the overall impression is I get the, the, the sense that it's slightly exaggerated. That may not be true, but uh, it's the way I see it on this uh, screen. Uh, I like the uh, wide presentation here. You could actually uh, uh, raise the lower portion of the frame just a little bit, but not. Uh, then you would have to drop the top a little bit too because I like the slightly raised above center arrangement of the birds, but I am particularly uh, uh, fond of the uh, arrangement of their wings in this uh, trio. All alone. Okay, uh, eight points. Uh, this has a nice sense of depth to it. And I like the fact that you have the framing of the closer, darker elements with the uh, yellow tree in the middle distance and in the far distance, you have misty, foggy uh, uh, tree trunks. Uh, great composition, great vertical composition. Uh, I am particular though, like uh, the uh, framing of this uh, bright colored tree. Swimming on a lily pad. Okay, uh, nine points, very unusual uh, presentation. What I like in particular here is the fact that the shadow uh, is of the fish is exactly where it is. There is no separation between the body of the fish and the shadow other than from the midpoint of the body back to the tail. I like its position within the frame and you have what seems to be a, designing, a dividing line down the center of the leaf running slightly diagonally uh, down and across the image. I like the position of the fish in relation to the center of the pad. Uh, nice shot, great detail in the fish. Tang. Uh, nine points, this is really a, a great shot. First of all, I like the uh, uh, very sharp detail in the uh, uh, growth of uh, whatever it is that's growing in the uh, lower right hand quadrant of the image. Uh, I like the uh, the fact that you have similar growths extending back into the center of the frame and along the right edge there, but the uh, the fish itself is positioned perfectly and is uh, razor sharp. And I like the uh, the position it's uh, swimming from uh, left to right. Position with the, in the frame is great, and the color of the foreground uh, or lower right foreground element and the fish itself contrasts nicely the intensity of the color with the muted color of the uh, material behind. Very nice shot. Mushroom trio. Okay, eight points. Great shot of this uh, trio of fungi. I like the placement within the frame. I like the fact that you have two standing upright like parasols and the larger one on the left is drooping. I would extend the bottom of the frame just a little bit to pick up the bottom of the uh, cone on the left and the bottom of the curled leaf. Other than that, it's a very elegant composition. I like the extended uh, wide uh, format uh, presentation. 
Defending the nest. Okay. Uh, eight points. This is a nice shot of this uh, action going on here. Uh, I uh, I think the framing is nice. The composition is nice. I like the uh, nearly square format. Uh, I would burn in the bottom bird just a little bit in the area of its uh, talons, tail, and uh, breast feathers. Uh, it looks a little bright, but uh, not excessively so. Uh, great action shot. I like the splayed out feathers of the left wing of the upper bird and the uh, uh, left wing, wing of the uh, lower bird. Those splayed out feathers uh, convey action and uh, the pressure of the uh, wing beat itself. Icelandic horse. Okay, uh, eight points. A uh, great shot of this uh, uh, horse. Uh, the fact that it's a horse doesn't imply hand of man. Uh, there are plenty of wild horses out there. Uh, the coloration is kind of interesting. Looks like a, a near sunset image. Uh, looks like a uh, the, almost the anvil top of a distant cumulonimbus cloud. Can't be sure. Like the position of the horse's uh, legs and the position of the creature within the frame itself. Placing the horizon low allows you to include the entire uh, the entirety of that uh, cloud formation on the back. Nicely done. Harlequin duck. Okay. Uh, eight points. Uh, I like this, uh, the way it's presented. It uh, fills the frame without overly filling it. I don't feel the edges of the frame crowded at all. Uh, I like the uh, what looks like disturbed water in the uh, or weed or it looks almost like rock weed uh, in the uh, lower portion of the frame. I think that la uh, lends interest and uh, it's a very colorful bird, well presented, uh, plenty of sharpness throughout the uh, creature itself. Pelicans fly in empty beach. Okay. Um, nine points. This is a nice shot of this uh, flight of pelicans. Uh, the only criticism I uh, can make, and I, it's not gonna detract from the score, is the fact that you have a little bit of haloing around the birds, but their position within the frame over this uh, really interesting landscape is uh, superb. Uh, I like the brighter band of sky above the darker clouds, but what in particular uh, I like is the fact that you have separation between the uh, lower portion of the, uh, uh, the, the landscape and the distant uh, uh, portion, you have a sliver of water visible there, which I think makes that if it was merged and that water disappeared, I think it would diminish the impact of the image. Lower Falls, Ohio Pile. Okay, uh, eight points. I like the uh, composition here. The, uh, I like in particular the soft background, how it enhances the sharpness of the central elements. Okay, you don't, you don't lose any sharpness when you move down to the bottom of the image. Uh, nice uh, water flow throughout with the uh, curtain aspect of the cascade in the upper left, great exposure. African water buffalo. Okay, uh, nine points. This is a particularly interesting image. Uh, great deal of texture, great lighting to enhance the uh, uh, detail throughout the, uh, uh, the uh, creature's coat and uh, curved horns. Uh, I like the fact that it is oblivious to the presence of the photographer, probably, although we don't know what it's thinking and it's definitely, uh, you've caught it uh, with a mouthful of uh, whatever these things like to eat. Uh, well done. To infinity, in, infinity and beyond. Okay, eight points. A nice shot of this uh, Milky Way. Uh, I like the tree line placed exactly where it is. Uh, in uh, these Milky Way images, uh, verticals work very well as it uh, does here. The uh, taken at a time of day when uh, you do see a little bit of light filtering through the branches of the trees. Uh, this is another image that uh, works well as a vertical and it's uh, well done. 
nature's art or a wrinkle in time. Okay. Uh, eight points is an interesting composition. A straight leaf would be okay, but this ripply curved bent uh, uh, water a droplet splattered uh, specimen is really nice. Uh, you could try uh, burning in the darker shadow elements along the bottom just a little bit, raise the contrast in that area. But other than that, I wouldn't do anything else with this image. The detail in the central element is really nice. Eel. Okay, uh, eight points. Uh, this is a great shot of this eel. I think in this particular case, it would benefit from uh, boring in a little closer on the eel itself. Uh, these Amore eels uh, have a, uh, an aspect where they typically are, uh, have a gape to their mouth and you can see through it in detail uh, with the, beyond the eel. And you've got an interesting formation that it seems to be uh, hiding under or camouflaging itself against. Uh, but here, uh, there is so much detail present within the rest of the image that the uh, uh, your attention is almost drawn away from the eel and the eel becomes visible uh, almost as an afterthought. The, uh, if you had a tighter composition on the eel, you would definitely uh, benefit here. Rear view of peacock in black and white. Okay, uh, eight points. This is an interesting composition of uh, what we're seeing here. Uh, I think the uh, fan-shaped uh, central element is uh, presented well. You have the, uh, the bulk of the uh, feathers uh, surrounding it around the uh, right edge and up through the top and around the left edge. Uh, you get benefit from that. There's detail there, but I think the strong central element makes this. Uh, you have softer, what looks like four cotton balls below. Uh, that's interesting too. An unusual image, and I think it's uh, well presented. All right, you got seven nines. I need a first, second, third. Okay, first, second, and third. Okay. Six, seven. All right. First, second, and third. Okay, for first, I'm going to pick the uh, blue fish with the uh, sea fan or whatever it is. This one here, that's first. Okay. Second is going to be the uh, waterfall, which is the third from the left. This one here, second. Okay, and third is going to be the water buffalo with the uh, with its uh, mouthful of this. Yeah, this. And that's what I got. And I guess we're not giving any HMs in its division. Actually, the rest of them are HMs. What's that? The leftovers are HMs. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Okay, that works. All right, we'll review this contest and then you have one more task and that's to pick the best to show. Oh, okay. Kirk Jufell, Linda DeAngelis, honorable mention. Congratulations, Linda. Yosemite, Linda Heath, honorable mention. Congratulations, Linda. Swimming on a lily pad, Sue Fielder, honorable mention. Congratulations, Sue. 
Pelicans Fly on an Empty Beach. Linda Heath, honorable mention. Congratulations, Linda. African Water Buffalo, Harvey Birnbaum, third place. Congratulations, Harvey. Iceland Waterfall, Debbie Aniano, second place. Congratulations, Debbie. All right, we'll put together the uh, best of show contest and then you'll have to pick the best of show. All right, we'll give you the thumbnails and you can pick the best to show. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, I've made my pick. And it's going to be the zebra with the antelope. That is so unusual that it just uh, rises a, a little bit above the other two, which are very nice. But this one here is really unusual and it's very well done. Uh, so that's my pick. Excellent. Now we'll review that contest.
Tang, Joe Gilchrist, none. Joe, do you want to tell us about this one? Valerie, can you find Joe? Yeah, this is actually a, um, this is actually taken from about 30 feet underwater. <laughs> so it's actually um, it's out scuba diving in, uh, in Florida. And these are the corals and all that are around there. So I just started uh, playing with a, uh, my underwater camera at this point. So from last year. Very nice image, Joe. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. Ibis Landing, Terry Donofrio. Terry, you want to tell us about this one? Can you hear me? It was a uh, Ibis at the uh, Heron Rookery. And um, I got him landing and put it on the black background. Very nice, Terry. Congratulations, Terry. Time for dinner. Ed Hornick, the best of show. Congratulations, Ed. Want to tell us about it? Ed, are you still there? I'm asking you to unmute yourself. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, thank you. I was on a, a private tour at Six Flags with my wife and I was using a long lens. I, I saw this and I couldn't resist it. Did you hear me? Yep. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, this concludes our meeting for this evening. Uh, our next meeting again won't, in, won't be until September. Uh, but there'll be emails out between now and then. Bart, thank you so much. Thank you for your comments. I don't want anybody to take the heart that I 